Good morning. Welcome to Mansfield Today. I'm Chris Gibbons. It is a Monday, so we're talking business, but we're doing it today with a slightly different angle. Let me start by asking you a question. Uh, in the current markets, where do you invest? Old-fashioned stocks and bonds, cash, foreign exchange, real estate, Crypto, it's a very difficult scenario at the moment. And how do you get in on the very big mega investments if your name is not Gates or Buffett or something similar to that? Our guest today on Mansfield Today is someone who has looked long and hard at this problem and has come up with some interesting solutions. He's the CEO and founder of a company called the Global Wealth Group, as well as a fintech plat platform called Wealth Migrate. His name is Scott Picken. He's just offered online investors the chance to invest in the Global Wealth Group itself through a crowdfunding mechanism called Cedars. Scott, welcome to Mansfield today. Let's start at the beginning. First of all, what does the Global Wealth Group actually do? Morning, Chris. Well, wonderful to be online and uh, look forward to sharing with your listeners. From our perspective, really, what we've tried to do is marry together the technology industry and the property industry. So when one thinks of investing in London or America or Australia or Europe, we've effectively made it safe and simple for people to invest in real estate, property, and other alternative assets safely and simply, but using technology. The venture has obviously been successful because you're, first of all, originally South African, but you're now headquartered in London. Yeah, look, I, I lived in London for nine years. I started a firm back in 2004 called International Property Solutions. And what we've been trying to do for the last 17 years is help people invest into England, Australia, America, South Africa, and more recently, Europe. We believe, you know, as South Africans, we can get a hell of a lot done around the world. We're incredibly good at, at figuring out creative solutions to problems. However, saying that, you, it's quite important from a regulatory perspective to be based out of the UK. They've got the most advanced fintech and crowdfunding regulations from around the world. And so it gives a very credible uh, jurisdiction from a global perspective. Now, when you talk about property, you're talking about the, the part of the company called Wealth Migrate. Is that right? Yeah, correct. So Wealth Migrate is our B2C, our business to consumer platform. And effectively, what we do is that's where we help people invest directly in property, primarily commercial property. So you know, medical buildings, office buildings, industrial buildings, et cetera. And what people can do is effectively go on the platform and invest in multiple different countries, currencies, assets, and partners, which we believe is the most important thing for any investor to look at at the moment with regards to diversification. But when, when you say international property, I immediately think, oh, well, that's a billion dollars or a couple of billion. Your, the secret to your success is that the reverse is true. Small investors can get in as well. Yeah, Chris, this is the beauty of technology. So when I started helping people invest in the early 2000s and you were buying an apartment in London, even in those days, you needed a million rand, you know, call it 100,000 pounds. And that was just the deposit. Then you still had to get a 60 or 70% mortgage from the bank. You had to set up a structure. You had to set up a bank account. It was incredibly difficult um, in terms of the tax, the compliance, the structuring. And that wasn't even taking into account trying to manage the property. Nowadays, using technology, you can actually invest in a better asset in London with a better return, but from $100 or £100. I mean, that's 1500 now, Rand to put in perspective. Wealth, uh, wealth Migrate is part of the Global Wealth Group or is distinct from it? No, so Global Wealth Group is our holding company. It's not really an external brand that we, that we talk too much about. Wealth Migrate is our B2C solution. So that is our global real estate marketplace where people can go online, people like you and me can go online and invest. We do have a separate arm called Wealth Point, and that is our B2B solution where we provide white label technology infrastructure, effectively the entire back office to really sophisticated and trusted financial service companies. Okay, now, now we know what the company does and what the structure looks like. Uh, that's important because you've just raised more than 1 million US dollars from online investors for the group itself. How did that happen? And what mechanism did you use for that? So there's a company in, in England called Cedars. Cedars is the largest equity crowdfunding platform in the UK. They FCA regulated, which is the top regulation in the, in the UK. And so we've gone to them to do an equity crowdfunding 
raise where people can actually now not invest through the platform into real estate deals or property deals, but actually invest into the holding company. So invest into the company that owns the infrastructure, the IP, and effectively is where the growth is expected within the actual platform. Why do we go to them? Well, there's, there's a couple of reasons. The first is that it's like doing a mini IPO. Because they're FCA regulated, it's incredibly difficult to uh, launch. You've, they they fact check everything. There's massive due diligence before one actually goes about it. So it provides tremendous credibility. The second is that as an equity crowdfunding platform, they have the largest scope around the world. So they've got about 80 countries around the world where people can actually invest through the platform into them. And the third is that it gives us massive geographic distribution. So last time we raised in 2019 through them and we got investors, 658 investors from 42 countries with significant investors out of the likes of India. And we're actually launching in India right now with those shareholders. So it's not only about the capital, it's about the smart capital and it's about the distribution. So why have you chosen to go this route, Scott? Uh, I'm not fully understanding, as opposed to a more typical capital raising route like, like a listing on a stock exchange. So a listing on a stock exchange takes, we're not there yet. So you've got a number of different phases within a business. You've got kind of the startup phase, you've got the growth phase, you've got the scaling phase, and then ultimately you've got the listed phase. Generally, what happens with companies is that if you take the likes of an Uber or an Airbnb, they ultimately go through the private equity phase and finally they go to the listing phase, which both of them did, I think, last year and the year before. We're not at that phase. We're in the growth scaling phase. And that is when you traditionally used to go to venture capitalists in terms of, a, you know, they call it a Series A, Series B, Series C round. And why we believe that there's so much value in going the crowdfunding route through a platform like Cedars is that you get much further distribution and that we actually copied a concept from Salesforce, which is the 14th largest technology company in the world. And in 1999, a guy called um, Benioff, Mark Benioff, went to all the, his, you know, all the venture capitalists and they laughed at him. They said, it's never going to happen. We're never going to have CRM, customer relationship management in the cloud. And so he went to all his, all his customers that were actually using the platform. And he said, hey, using the platform, you believe in the concept. Why don't you invest in the company? Which they did. And today it's the 14th biggest uh, technology firm in the world. We believe in the exact same principle. There's a tremendous value in the power of a crowd. And we've actually got over 1,000 shareholders now from around the world that not only invest in the company, but also invest on the platform. And that allows us to grow the company geometrically faster than if you've just got one, you know, a venture capital partner. Got it. Now, crowdfunding, as I understand it, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it has upsides very definitely. You've outlined a number of them. You can uh, you know, get in on a, a very small investment, man in the street kind of level. Uh, but isn't there also a downside in that, uh, unlike a share, you can't offload your investment in a hurry if you need liquidity? That's correct. Look, I think, Chris, any, any quality alternative asset, be it property, private equity, structured notes, uh, green energy, convertible debt, et cetera, generally liquidity is a, is a challenge. But the very benefit of the lack of liquidity is why so many of the wealthy people actually invest in these alternative assets, because they've got stability. So there's quid pro quo in terms of taking both sides of the fence. What is interesting with technology nowadays is that a number of the marketplaces like ourselves have actually created a secondary market so that people can actually trade in and trade out. But it's a very regulated space and we're currently going through our FCA um, compliance and regulation to be able to enable that. The technology, we can do it tomorrow morning. Um, the regulatory space is a lot more tricky. But the, the, the overarching thing that I want to say to investors is the reason wealthy people invest in quality alternative assets is that they're not subservient to the up and down emotional swings of the stock exchange. Interesting. Now, bring it back to Cedars and the investment in Global Wealth Group for me, Scott. That $1 million in three days, you've passed 100% of your target. Does that mean I've missed the boat? I came in too late. Yeah, it's a, it's a good question, Chris. And the, and the, the simple answer is no. 
The way that crowdfunding works is that you set targets, you want to achieve those targets, and then you want to overraise. Last time we raised 248%. So we, we actually set ourselves a target of 750,000 pounds, which is a million dollars. And we ended up raising about two and a half million dollars. We're doing exactly the same strategy here. So the idea with crowdfunding is that you want to hit the target quickly, you want to show momentum, and then you effectively want to overraise. Our total capital raise is $3 million that we're looking to do with our crowdfunding campaign and our global community. And then we're going into a priced equity round with our strategic finance partner, Simple Capital, for a further $5 million in the second, uh, sorry, third or fourth quarter of this year. Sounds absolutely fascinating. Uh, new developments, new technologies leading the way. Our guest today on Mansfield today, Scott Pickin, CEO of the Global Wealth Group. Scott, appreciate the insight. Good luck with the ventures. And I'm sure we'll be talking again in the future. Thanks for being with us. Chris, wonderful. Thanks very much for your time and uh, good luck. Great pleasure. That's it from uh, Mansfield today. Uh, my name's Chris Gibbons. It has been my pleasure to be with you. Uh, Jeremy himself will be back tomorrow and he'll be talking as it's Tuesday, as usual, with uh, advocate Lance Brogdon. Join him then and we'll see you on uh, Mansfield today, the business part of the show, uh, next Monday. Thanks for being with us. Bye now.